campground trail, which is a bayou trail. And we found a private beach we got to swim across. We just passed the last uh, of the campsites that are along the bayou's edge. But here's our view in the campground. That is awesome. It looks like it got pretty deep just past the little campground. Dog, I always say go go get the water, but you're not getting back up. And here's one of your views. The beaches. You want to cross it to shade on the very edge of that mud bed. You wouldn't get as much sunburn. Play down the corner. Yeah. What, dog? You want to go get that water? Go get that water, dog. I don't know if I'll be able to help you up, but it's too deep. It's too deep, dog. Get it, dog. Get it, jump, jump, dog. <laughs> See, he's smart. Well, not that smart. <laughs> but here's a view, folks, in a dirt, a wet dirt. Now, how you gonna get back up? I don't know. Oh, he got back up without no help. Well, there you go. It's a water dirt. Look at that view. Look at the bear. Look at the view. Look at the bear. The view. Bear. View. Which one's more pretty prettier? There you go, folks. It's like every time you find a swimming hole, you find these beer cans. I mean, why? Why would y'all... This is what I hate about some of you humans. Oh, I'm gonna drink a beer and fish. This is a hard place to go fishing. Litter bugs. I thought you hate them. Here's another view. And it's right across from that. Imagine camping up here and looking down at that. Look at the beach. It goes for hours. Uh, here's some litter bugs. You know, if I went camping and I brought aluminum cans, I'll at least bury the damn shit. So uh, here's another campsite. It's these, it's these people who just don't know how to clean themselves after they camp. They could have put this in a bag. Would have been easy for somebody else to clean up. Or brought to camp if you're that damn lazy. Bring a garbage bag with you folks. If you're lazy and you want to leave trash. Bring a garbage bag, put it in the garbage bag, and leave it for somebody else to pick up. Because I usually pick up your trash. Well, here you here's your view. This trail is good. Uh, we just passed the 10 mile marker. It's 10 miles from this trail to the other trail. You've seen it earlier in my video. But we at the end of the other video of the other of the trail, and uh, we're just taking a few miles in and turning back. I suggest when we got our water packs halfway full, we we'll turn around. Bear's up there somewhere. He disappeared. He's mocking his territory. Poor bear. If a dog could do it, then what? 
What'd she see, Dark? I thought I heard something over there. Here's your view. I'm gonna see in a few seconds. Whoa, these rocks look like wood. Petrified wood. That one does. Look at it, it looks like a petrified wood. And here's another campsite for those who wanna go camping. I wouldn't recommend too much sun. That'd be my spot. Closer to where the bears can get to you. Just to let you know, this trail is very well marked. Um, I asked the, the ranger one time why they nail it like this. One, to keep, when the tree grows, it won't pop these off fast too early in its life. So they nail it just like this. So as the tree grows, it won't pop this off. Gives it time. And there's, there's a little orange mark right there by Bear's hand. And there's marks all over this trail. We only found like two glowing marks out of all the marks. But every 10 feet, there's another mark. There's another mark right there. And here's your other view. And here's another mark. Should be another mark that's down there. It's well, very well marked. Well, mark to mark. All right, see you another for another view. Well, here's your another view. It's dog in the water. And I'm in good stand. All right. Well, I came down from this trail up there so my dog can get some water. And we're looking at the water and the beaches. Another view, but this view is different. It looks like a face right there. Look at that. It looks like a face. It's a monster looking at us. Here's another view. Always look for trail markers, and sometimes a branch will be fell into the trail, and you can't see ahead where the trail leads. So always remember and look for distance and paths. See, there's a path right there. Doesn't look like it, but there is a path right there. No path. And you just keep going and you find a path. Also look for your markers. Some of them are hard to see, but if you just look, you'll see it. Bam, right there by the tree. Well, would you camp in this location? Hell no. Flash flood will kill you. I'll camp up there before I camp down here. But here's a view for you. And uh, Bear's gonna tell you what trail again. What trail is this? Carolina Dorman Trail. Carolina Dorman Trail. If you look, there's a lot of pig damage. And we're looking around, even one little fallen tree. There's a lot of pig digging from 50 feet away. There's wild pigs out here. It looks like an old pig though. But they're doing damage. Yeah, so shoot your hogs today. And here's another view. Looks like a hunting road right there. There you go, there's your view. So far on this trail, walking from the end, number 10, to whatever number we can find, it looks like it's all going downhill. And hope that's some water. We got some flagging out here and some tags. And here's another view for y'all. A big pine tree. There you go. Looks like we might be going across the bayou or a little ditch.
Now right now it's open field. We don't know where the trail's over there because there's a cutting right there. And it looks like we have to go across the ditch. Oh wait, wait, wait! We got two arrows. And we got an arrow over here. We got an arrow, and it's facing that way. So let's look over there. Okay, we got an arrow facing that way, an arrow pointing that way. Okay, we got to cross the ditch. Yep, there's an arrow. So there's the. We got to go down this little creek. Imagine if we had packed and had to swim today. Yeah. We can cross that log over there. Yeah, I saw it. Note to yourself, if you ever do go backpacking, make sure you go do non-raining season. Or you won't be able to cross certain creeks. Some people prefer water to drink. Yeah, but not when the creek's full and you can't get across. Just be sure to live through creek and water. Nice view, nice camping area. Then again, it might you fudge out. on the island in a hammock. Yeah. Just uh, don't fall off. It, it sure is. Island. Hey, you know you could island camp in the Kisaki? Yeah. That's it. Look, there's a big island going around. Watch them edges. Yeah. Dog, get that water drink. Dog, get the water. Dog, over here. Get that water. It probably tastes like pure pine salt from the bucket. Get that water, Dirk. Chip down and get it. Okay, when we... Don't chip down here, that's too far. Come here, over here. All right, right here, right here, right here. Oh, shit, let this jump. Why well, have to help him up this time? <laughs> Come bring him over here. He can get up over there. Yeah. He can make that. Yeah. Come on, Jerry. He's a deer today. <laughs> a deer. Poor deer. Alright, look. We can cross this bridge and go camp on an island. Not recommend that without going on that one. I'm wearing the seashell. Nah, nah, nah. Don't make me a grass skirt. <laughs> on an island camp. I thought it hurt. You just run around naked. Yeah, I would. See, this tree made him walk that way because, see, that's all it takes is a couple of branches in the trail and you'll lose your trail. It's right here, buddy. I saw that one. Okay, and the other one's down there. Well, let's somebody put a American flag up or stripe it thing. See, always before, like I said, always watch your trails. These couple branches made... Or the trail, you can't even see which way you're going. Be careful, hikers. That's how a lot of people die out in the woods. Yeah, we got water, so. But you got to hike away from that water, so you have to store that water. And boil that water. Unless you... Unless you go out and, you know, drink some water just to get some your thirst down and... When you get civilization, you better go to the doctor and get you a pill or a shot or something. You gotta stop because I didn't bring those alligators that goes on your ankles. Oh. Every so often you get a piece of stick, I didn't bring my alligator. It's okay, we need to oh, take a little break. Yeah. You gotta stop every mile. It's a pain in the earth. Take the sharpies out. Because the sharpies hurt when you put the foot first on. Oh. The little buck thorns. That's they're, even worse. That's what's going on. Well, they're not really the thorns. It's just hawthorn, buck thorns. Now, I see a couple of y'all uh, hikers wear gators. I'm thinking about getting one for this next hike I go on. What you think, dog? You need... heat, heat around your ankles would suck. So it's a trade off of letting heat out for me. Yeah, it's true. You stop every so often to pick a thorn out or something. Well, you know, unless you're in a big group, that'd be the only benefit if you're in a big group so you don't have to stop your group to all the pull a stick out. But if you're by yourself or just one or two people, it'd be alright. What you think? Be alright with one or two. 
And there's no big stuff, it's the tiny little buckthorn seed. Like eight or nine are getting in there. In the bushes. Dog, you get any splinters? Hi, right, Dorg. Uh, Poor Dorg. What you doing, Dorg? Give me a bite, Dorg. Give me a bite. Make sure the bushes with the ranger. You need a bath. I just took one. Oh, talk about this one. I just took one. I just took a bath in fishing poop water at a private beach. <laughs> First one since Friday, and today's Tuesday. Oh, gosh. I'm not kidding. He's not kidding. It's actually Thursday night, like 7, 8 p.m., and today is Tuesday, 2, 3 p.m. It's been a while. All right, well, there's your view. We talked a little bit. Uh, be careful, folks, for hiking and traveling through the woods. Nope, I don't know. I can't see. Well, we've got the road closed, so we can no longer get the vehicle down here. Oh, we found the marker, but it's, it's a road marker. He broke his stick. Road closed. We know how the vehicle Here's another view. We just came through a couple of islands was down there. Well, a few seconds we're on that corner. Bear asked me a question. And I asked you how many miles do you think we went so far? And I said two and a half. And I got in your face on purpose. Because it's only been a mile, uh, two miles. From the other side, because we came from the other direction. Yeah, we came from this side. We started at ten and a half, so we did a mile and a half so far. Feels like we're going... You said two and a half. Yeah, I said two and a half. You are a mile slow. <laughs> this is smart. I was going to go to at least eight. If we get to eight and put back, that's a five mile hike. Let's go seven. And what time we started? One o'clock, right? Uh, you said one. Uh, no, twelve o'clock. Close no, up. It was a forty-two. It was twelve forty-two, and I was like, why can't we start at forty-seven? <sighs> and we've been walking. Did we leave at twelve forty-two or one forty-two? It was one forty-two. Well, I made a recording, I guess, if I numbered. We'll find out later in the video. No, well, early in the video. No, I think you're right. 142 to 342. A mile and a half in two hours is doable because we stopped. Yeah, we stopped for like five minutes. Why well, we stopped at the creek? Because we got to water the dirt. No, we started at 142. Even though we're walking in the wrong way, we're supposed to walk like this, but we're walking right to the flag. Because what happened, these pigs are tearing up the ground. And tear, destroying the see there's a flag market there and a flag market there that the trees fell and there's one right there well we cut we cut corners it saved 10 seconds oh my, my dog's getting hot we gotta find a water source for the dog oh, dirt. all right see another view here's another view we got away from the bayou and got to this tall pine tree forest. And it's a little hotter because uh, the sun is hitting all the stuff and a heat wave will hit you right in your face. And this is where we at. Looks like we're very close to a road. Looks like I seen that hill earlier when we was coming down the road. Oh, crab apple. We found wild edible. <laughs> wild edible. It's wild edible. <coughs> So far, we didn't cross any roads yet. I was supposed to cross a couple times. 
you're down there around the eight mile point. Then you're driving in. Yeah. Eight and seven. All right, well, there's your view for the for this one. This looks very cool. It looks like an old sand pit. Look at the hills. We've been hiking just a few minutes over two hours and we come across the dinosaur sand pits. <laughs> Maybe the dinosaurs roamed here. It's pretty nice. It's like a gray clay and is slowly washing away, drying out and washing away and brilliant crackling. Yeah, our goal was mile eight or half to three liters. And being a heat index of 102 today, we're about half our water already. So we're going to take a look at this and head back. But we get uh, one and three quarter mile each way. Well, I found some wolf poop and some bones from a wolf poop. Yeah. I'm gonna go get his little stick here and we'll show you some wolf poop. Look, see the little bones. So this could have been a rabbit that he ate or she ate. And this is the remains of a rabbit or a squirrel or maybe a mouse. Poor creature. Alright, I'm a Ranger Kiki. I gotta go because my dog is dying of thirst. He's crying over here. And there's the I don't want to say what that what that looks like. That looks like camel toes. Camel toes out of the middle of nowhere. All right, see you a little bit. Look, it's a claw. It's an eagle claw. That thing's huge. We find a dinosaur bone. And look what else I found. I saw I found some dragon teeth. This is a small dragon. Most people call them these pine cones, but I like to call them dragon teeth. Here's a dragon teeth, and here's another one. I want to pull it out. Give me a second. Give me a second. And here's another. That's a big dragon. Boy, imagine that thing sticking his teeth in you. Shit, the little one. Imagine it sticking his teeth in you. I feel sorry for the person, poor human, to be eaten by a dragon. I wonder if you torture and play with it like a cat, since he's a dragon. Do you think dragons play with their food before they gobble it up? Or they incinerate it, then eat it? Hmm, you never know. Each dragon's different. Poor dragons. Alright, here's another view. We're going back. We're heading back. <clears throat> I said we got two choices. We make our mile marker or half our water, and... We went to our half water mark and we had to turn around because I almost missed my marker. It looks like it goes that way. It's a nice, beautiful campsite, but if it rains, most people don't camp in this type of... Do not camp when you see cloudy or dirty leaves. See these leaves? They're gray. Do not camp in an area with gray leaves. You will regret it. Anything gray. See above up there? That's okay. There's no gray leaves. So you're safe up there. So there's a tip for you. Do not camp in a gray leaf area. You will regret it. I'm taking a long way. The trail goes right here, but it got a stump in the way. So I'm going to take our same trail that we did earlier. So I don't have to jump over a stump. But Barry says, I'm going to jump over this stump. I might fall and hurt myself and break an ankle. But I can do this. I got boots.
and he was telling me not to do risky things, and he just did. <laughs> it's over here. See, you can see the path. So, look, see how these leaves are not gray? Camp up here. Do not camp down there. It might be cooler. It might be closer to the war yeah, source. See if there's a spider on my left shoulder. And we got a spider. I went to the spider. Did I carry him with me? Nope. Okay. He's gone. Okay, he fell off. Yeah, they usually fall off of you. It's all that matters because you look big. I've seen this guy picked up one of those uh, banana spiders that most of y'all call them garden spiders. But I was told since I was the evil baby, he was a banana spider. He took it and put it in his hand, and the second just walked around, didn't bite him. <laughs> Maybe that did. I don't know if you heard that. Now, there you go, folks. Another view on the way back. I might stack some rocks up somewhere so if I can find a pile of rocks. This is where our water source. Dog! Derek, let's go get water! We go watch dog get water. Look at him. He's, uh, he heard water. He's he's going for it. He's running for that water. Get the water, Derek. Get that water. You can stay up there, bear. Get that water, Derek. Get get it. <laughs> he didn't take waste no time. He was getting really hot earlier. I was getting scared. I forgot to bring a water bowl. So animal lovers and animal people, make sure you bring a little water bowl. I forgot. I'm trying to give them water out my container in my hands and it wasn't working. Get that water, Derg. Get it. All right, he got his water. I'm happy. Cooled him down. He's black. He's wearing black for some reason. I, dog, I told you about wearing black. You need, you're going to get heat exhausted in that black suit you keep wearing. You need to change colors. So, there you go. Uh, this is a view. S heading back from, I think, two and a half mile walk. A little like ten years of walking, but it was only two and a half. Alright, uh, I'm Ranger Kiki. See you in a few minutes and there's my bear. Bear? Bear sat in, it's about 3.2. 3.2 is 3.3. I'd say 3.5. Watch out, 411. It'll be a 4.11 out here. Bear will go up in front, and, or I go up front and disappear. I know where the MREs are. A fence in the middle of nowhere. Come on, dork. All right, that's your view. We made it back to our 10 mile mark. Uh, we only have what a half a mile left. Yeah, half mile to camp. Half mile to camp. We should time it. What's the time? Uh, it's like three and a half hours. No, I meant from here to there. Okay, we start now. And if we start now, let's see. It is 5:03. We'll see what it takes to do that. Half okay. Mile. 503. We'll see how long it would take to do the half mile. All right, see you in a few minutes or if, you know, whatever. Well, sometimes the view going one way and the view coming the opposite looks different. Plus, where the sun is, too. So, here's your view of going back. Now the reason I did leave my, my uh, camera on all through the trail is that you're going to see most of the same stuff anyway. If I just show you some good spots and talk to you for a few seconds, it would be a shorter and nicer video. So if those are saying, why you didn't have it on all through the trail? Well, I meant you're going to see the same thing and the camera's going to shake and move up and down. I don't have a stabilizer, so... You're going to see a bouncing camera. So just walking a few feet and showing you the views. Look, we can camp on that island. Not recommended because they got gray leaves. <laughs> One flash flood. 
You know what I always wanted to know? Why these people put the trail in the middle of a ditch or something? Flash flood area. Be warned. But yet they put it where... You shoot... Why well, you didn't go up the hill? You put it right in the creek. Why? I don't know. The first survey is you need to rethink about where they put trails at. Look at that weird stump. It looks like a face. It looks like a little face here. He's so sad. Look at his eyes. His little mouth there. And this one looks whatever. Oh, poor creatures. All right. Well, there's your view. Oh, let's catch that, that, uh, that bridge real quick. A lot of people love bridges. This one might fall on us. Look, some more firewood. All right. And here's our bridge. The Bridge of Doom. What is your name? What color do you like? Oh, no. What is Jamaica about? I don't know. The Trail of Doom. All right, well, there was your view. See it if you shirt. The most, wor the world's deadliest spider. Daddy long leg. There's two of them right here. It looks like this one's pushing the other one away. But they only deadly to bugs, not humans. Their teeth are so small they can't do shit to us. But it's supposed to be the deadliest besides the black widow. Oh, they're running off. Well, you just saw the deadliest spiders in the world. They can't kill humans because their teeth are so small. Poor teeth things. Well, another view. Look, my dog's going nuts. He sees a deer. Well, we should be coming up to the camps, if I'm not mistaken. We shall see in a few seconds. We're at the edge of the camps. Well, my battery's life is dead.